All right, guys and ladies, this is Corey Jordan. And uh, I wanted to show you why you should income shift no matter what you're doing because you're giving away thousands of dollars every year that you could have been using to invest or pay off debt. So the choice is yours to income shift to them or income shift to you. But I would rather you income shift to you and I think that you would want that too. But as you can see here, this is a letter here, a memo, basically, that the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, put out. And it says, big refund, big tax bill. And join us tonight by clicking the link to your right and joining us for showing you exactly how to implement this and write off the things that you pay for anyway but you don't make any money from paying it such as your rent a mortgage your internet access your phone bill your kids which is huge the gas that you put in your car and so much more but this was updated april 29 2005 first some refund facts it says federal tax refunds to individuals total more than 215 billion last year i don't know what it is for 2017 but i'm pretty sure it's well over 215 billions america come get your millions back is what they say right so more than 101 million taxpayers got refunds that's 80 percent the average refund was 2126 dollars it says where does your refund come from it comes from your wallet or purse when you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck or you can make an estimated tax payment for the average refund that's about forty dollars a week too much so what it's saying that you're giving forty dollars away a week too much depending on how much you make and what you put out on your w-4 form so that's a hundred and sixty dollars a month that you could have been using to pay that car note that phone bill, that overdue electricity bill that you got a, a late fee from if you <clears throat> are in that situation. Now, the more you make, the more this goes up. So you could have been paying $100 a week too much, which is $400 a month, and you could have been using that to pay off them credit cards with the 29%, 22% interest rate that you're paying a thousand two thousand dollars in interest a year so if you get the ink the my econ membership this will help you put that money back into your pocket and write off a lot of things which i'm gonna show you next so it says you might be using this extra withholding as a forced savings method but uncle sam doesn't pay interest on refunds except in circum special circumstances putting the money in, in a any type of savings account or paying down debts might be a better option. So it's up to you where you want to put the money, but savings accounts ain't paying no interest. They not paying anything. So you put your money in a savings account, what they gonna give you, two cent? So let me go to this, all right? We gonna go to this right here. So it's your your asset could be your your house. You are your business. And we can show you if you want to put money back into your pocket, just get with this. All right. So you're gonna live and you're gonna do all these things anyway. One through six. One through six, you're gonna do anyway. You gotta have somewhere to stay. Rent a mortgage. Whatever the numbers is for you, run them up and see what it is you pay, all right? Out of rent, out of mortgage, $1,000. You got a home office, you got a, a space that you do business, you got a phone over there. It, no matter if it's your cell phone and your computer at a desk or a little area in your corner. If it's 20% of your space, 10% of your space, that's how much you deduct from your total rent amount. So in this scenario, it's $200, $2,400 a year. Can you afford to be giving away? Utilities, $500, 20%, 2,400, 
$100 a month, $1,200 a year, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go through all of these because the first one, you should be like, huh, I'm giving away that much? But anyways, that total $12,020. To make it even, we're going to go $12,000. So your state and federal tax, 30%. You don't have to be making that much to pay 30%. So out of all of that, you do the 12,000 times 30%. You drop the fraction, move over your decimal point, you got $3,600. You save yourself $3,600 just by doing six small things. You can, you still got 400, over 475 of these things that you can write off here. You can write off your lifestyle. So if you did something else and show people how they can put anywhere from two to $500 back into their next paycheck and they got the membership, which is free, who can't afford free? And they, we paid you $2,400. You just made $6,000 and you created cash out of nowhere. You educated some people and made $2,400 on business income. Then you saved $3,600 that you would have gave away in taxes. You still got a refund. Still got a refund. But if you do this at the bank, at 1%, you need $600,000. That's going to bring you that same $6,000 there. 3%, which the bank you ain't getting. You're not going to get 3% unless it's in a CD and tie your money up, but you need 200000 Do you have it? At 6%, you need 100000 Now, that's doable, but it's still not enough because now we go up to the rule of 72. I'm not even going to do the bloody mess. We're going to do the rule of 72, which is the banker's secret. I'm not going to go over this. You can read it. But I would say, join us tonight and see how the bank is robbing you of your money. And if you want a personalized game plan, it's free. No need to charge anybody for basic education and a basic understanding that they made the lingo so hard that people don't want to even attempt to try and learn. Investing is easy but they robbed you. But anyways, just get registered for the webinar tonight so we can break it down. And if you want your membership, let's go ahead and do it. As always, give me a call, 210-254-7175. I'm Corey Jordan. I'll talk to you soon.